Now let's look at some of the things that are concerning, and they are very much of a concern, and they're long-term problems. The first one is the unemployment problem. And you can see that this is the headline unemployment. Whenever they talk about an unemployment figure, this is the chart that they usually give you. Now, if you look at this chart, it actually looks like it's getting better. I mean, the unemployment was down to 10%. It's now at 7.2. So that looks like a positive trend. Well, how do you reconcile that with the fact that there's so many people out of a job and so many people working part-time and they can't get a job? The way you reconcile it is this is not the whole story. This is just a headline story. Let me give you the whole story. The whole story you can see better in this next chart. And this shows you that the unemployment level is the highest in 30 years. This is a chart that measures the number of people that are available for work and the people that are working. Now, you can't get anything simpler than that. You got the number of people available and the number of people working and that is the lowest in 30 years. And that is the problem today. And I'm going to show you how to reconcile those charts. Here is what we call the U6 unemployment. And that's what we spend our time thinking about more than any of the other two charts. Because what this chart shows you is the math. And the math is there's 11 million people looking for a job. 11,255,000 to be exact. But there are 7,926,000 people who are working part-time because they can't get a full-time job. And so if you add those people up, and then you've got 3,219,000 people who are so discouraged from looking at a job, they've quit looking. What's really disturbing, in the last month, 500,000 more people were added to the discouraged role. It went from 2.7 to 3.2. So that is a very big problem. And if you add it all up, you got 22,400,000 people out of work or underutilized as opposed to 11 million. And the unemployment rate is not 7.2, it is 13.1. And that is one of the highest numbers we've had in 30 to 40 years. And until that changes, you're not going to have a lot of growth in the economy, as I'm going to show you later. Now, the main theme that I want to emphasize throughout this seminar is that the real key to all the problems is jobs. And I'm going to show you later on how crucial that is. Because if we don't grow the economy and we don't create jobs, we don't have consumers, and consumers are 70% of the economy. So if you can fix something that's 70% of the economy, you've solved your problems, haven't you? So let's take a look at the job creation. That's the one thing every month I'm most concerned about. And in the last year, we've created 180,000 jobs per month. But in the last three months, it's dropped down to about 148,000. The last month, it was 145,000. Let me show you how long it would take to fix the unemployment problem at this rate. Let's say that we're creating 185,000 jobs a month. That's the figure that's been last year. It's slowing down, but let's just use the best number we got. There are 70,000 new people coming into the job market every month, so we are net creating 115,000 jobs. If you do that times 12, you got 1,385,000 jobs that we are creating. In order to get the unemployment down to normal levels, I figured it would take about 8,720,000 jobs. So in order to get that unemployment down to the normal levels where we have a strong economy, it take 8 million. At the current rate of 1.3 million, it's gonna take us 6.3 years to fill that gap. If we grow at 145,000, which it did the last three months, at this rate, it would take 9.7 years. So this is a very long-term problem that needs to be solved by increased manufacturing, which hopefully is coming, and greater jobs. Now, there is one good sign going. In a dismal picture, there's some very positive signs. And this has just been recently in the last month. Take a look at this. This is the small business hiring plan. Now, the reason this is so important is companies that are less than 500 employees per company are the fastest growing companies. They're the ones that add the most jobs 
they add between 60 to 80 percent of the new jobs in this country. So that's where the action is. And there's a survey by the Association of Small Businessmen, and they poll small business people all over the country, and they say, how many people do you plan on hiring? Well, this indicator has gone up, and it's up 9% this last month. It's up a little higher last month, but it's still up pretty good. So this is a very positive sign that if we can get the jobs hiring going and increase that production, it'll make a huge difference. Now, let me just say to you that while we're creating 145,000 to 180,000 jobs a year, in a good, strong economy, from our economic recovery as we have, we should be able to do 250 to 300,000 jobs a month. And if we do, the figures of solving this problem goes from 6.3 or 9.7 at the worst to 3.2 years. So once we get the economy going and once these jobs start to come through, we can solve this problem in three years or less. And that is why the job picture is so important to everything we do. So that is one of the concerns. I want you to write this down because that's going to be with us until the job figures changes. We watch this very closely every month and we'll keep you posted on that.